Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody is trying to, do, they sent me the star of this pattern and they want to do it around this rectangle. And I showed them how to draw it, but then they, well, they'd already, they wanted to use the um, object to path. You would spend a lot of time to make this object to path. I'm going to show you maybe an easier way. I'm going to make that. Uh, I just hit control D and I'm just making that item. I'm going to hit the uh, two point line and I can always make it a little smaller. I'm going to take all three of them and hit P. I'm going to take my smart fill tool. I'm going to, well, you know what? Let me set the smart fill. Well, you know what? Let me go ahead and make this whole thing smaller to begin with. Hit P. I knew that would mess up my smart field. And we're just trying to get the object first. So I'm making two of these. And you can see now I can get rid of this. And I can get rid of that. And I can take both of them. We're just trying to make this pattern. We need this to be perfect. So I'm going to just grab one of them and should snap right to it. Now I can take both of them and weld them. Or if if I'm not on the line good enough, I thought I was to weld it. We could always just take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Now I would always take the smart fill tool and fill that in, make sure you don't have any leaks and then um, so when I did this for the other gentleman, or the gentleman that asked for the help, with my ratio lock, I made this 0.75 inches long. Okay? Pretty important. We're going to left click, right click. We don't know how thick these lines are. So we're going to go and take the parallel dimension tool, and we're going to go from that node to that note, and we're 0 0.70. Let's see if this works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, we'll change our nudge specter to 0 0.70, and I'm going to show you if we got lucky. Control D and move it over. Look at that. We're not dead on. Corel made the right measurement, but we didn't extend the numbers out far enough. So let's take the parallel dimension tool and go from that node to that node. And we have 0 0.70, but let's let's run it up four digits. It's really 0.6968, okay? Let's take away that. So you have to be precise. 0.6968, control D. Look at that, we're perfect. Now we need, well, let's move over here. He was trying to do this object to path. And let's just do this. Let's take one of the objects. Let me make sure it's just an outline, and it is. We're going to go object to path, which is really cool. But in this case, it doesn't, it isn't going to, well, it would work, but it would take you a month and a Sunday, month of Sunday. Object to path. Let's say 105 of them. And you could play, you could measure and also, this takes a long time. You know, you can measure your path, but it's to me, it's never going to be dead on. You know, we got pretty lucky, but look at we're off. So, and you know, you could change it to 106, 104, and and you know, even though our, our object's three quarter inches long. So that's how I made the object. But what I did, let me just delete that. We have an object that's three quarter of an inch, okay? Control D and make a, well, it's not quite three quarters of an inch. You know what, it'd be, you know, I made it three quarters of an inch up here. Control D and move it over. Whoop. Now just move it over how many ever times you need to get to the length of this path. So we're gonna open up 
windows, dockers, properties, and right here go to, well, I've already converted this to a curve. We are at 73.0224, okay? After you make this, however long you want to make it 73.0, now I didn't make it exactly, but after I got it close, I just made it 73.022. Now watch how easy this is. I'm gonna go up to Artistic Media Tool, pick on the brush and then save that stroke right here, a little disc. I've already called it ZZ2, I think I called it two. Already exists, I'm gonna go okay, and then put it on your path and you always, and for some reason, have to either go up or down a minute little scunch. Look at that. They're dead on. Now, as always, when you use the artistic media tool, go to object, break it apart, and you'll get your line, which is pretty cool in itself because then you can do something else. Now, this is a group of objects, so you got to go to group and ungroup then grab it all in the wealth and it should come up. Oh, I didn't ungroup it, evidently. Grab it all in the wealth symbol comes up. It's gonna take just a second because that's a lot of welding for Krill to do. And voila, you have that shape. So the artistic media tool in this case is gonna be because you don't have to figure out how many you need. You just need to figure out the length. So remember going to properties and you could, you know, it doesn't have to be this. We could change this to, you know, 60, 79.6 inches and then just make this 79.6 inches and you'll get the same effect. So just measure your path and then make your artistic media brush is basically what you're doing. You're on the brush and then save it and then go to it. Now let's put it here and it's probably not gonna meet because we're not, we didn't have the same length. See it's, well, you know what? It might've worked. Nope, see it's off right there. Anyway, I'm real curious what he's gonna, he's gonna send me a copy of what he's doing with this. It said it's a pretty neat effect, so maybe in a couple of days we'll see that. Hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.